So we check the diagnosis on the scanner and it's saying that the left rear sensor is the one that's got a problem with it. So we've got the nice handy flip on the back. Um, uh, do them up nice and tight. Okay, okay, let's have a little look then, see if we can figure out what's going on. Let's just do a, a quick scan on here. Um, parking distance lines rear left ultrasonic sensor. Straight away, it's actually telling us which one it is. Now, when I've read this on another one, it didn't give us that until we actually went into the sensors individually. This is coming straight out of it. So what we'll do. Is pop a new sensor in there with what a new second hand one and see if we can't clear that off let's just um try and clear all of these we can go clear all dtcs and we've just got to switch the ignition off and then put it back on again and it's just 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 go with it straight away for now um here we go look so it's still showing us the faulty parking sensor let's go and change it and see if we can clear that out This one is owned to the elements. The spray from the wheel can get behind the bumper and sometimes cause a poor connection. It's either that or the sensor itself is duff. Um, let's pop it out and have a quick look. We can have a quick check of it and see uh, if there's anything dead obvious wrong with it. Car's jacked up in the air. And if you come round under here, and just look up the back of the bumper. You can actually see up, up there, if I get this torch in the right place for you. Up the back there, just behind the exhaust, is the sensor. On the sensor you've got a little clip top and bottom. And we can just pull the clip down and we can unhook the sensor and whip it out. So if we just pull the clip down on the top and on the bottom, we'll just give it a little tug. The whole sensor just drops out. And there it is. So you can see the wire there looks, it looks good from the outside. Let's disconnect it. Got a little tab at the back there, like a little push tab. Push and give it a wiggle and have it out. The connector plug in the back there looks pretty clean. Now when you get a new one, there's a, they're not painted, <laughs> which is a bit of a pain. Uh, you see that's painted all the way around there. Got a little rubber on the front to seal it into the bumper. But we've been on to uh, we've been on to eBay. I managed to get this little fella. Hopefully it's going to be okay. It looks a bit skanky on the back, uh, but it's white, it's the right colour. It's the one that's been painted. And then with the new. Just click that back in again. We're only going one way. Okay, that's clipped in. Like that. And we'll just poke that back up again and put it through the hole. There it goes. That's in. Right way through. Right, let's head back to the car and try and clear the fault. Right, let's get the door shut. We're in. Let's clamp in the old holder and then hopefully we can get some code clearings going on. Oh, we've got a right reflection there. That's better. That's better. We're about there. It's a nightmare. These screens, working with these screens, we get these reflections off of anything that's outside. It's really hard to cover it up. Right then, but you can see the screen. We could get the gist of it. Um, okay, so let's clear all fault codes again. And please, let's not have that one come back. Oh, oh, it looks like it's gone. So let's fire up the car. Let's 
Still saying we've got a parking sensor fault. So replacing the sensor didn't work, so now we're going to have to investigate and see if the wiring's got something hidden that we didn't spot originally. And I did look for corrosion. I couldn't see anything, but there must be something going on. So, um, yeah, let's have a little look. Oh, this wire is trapped behind the bumper. So can you see? Up there, it, it's kind of got rub behind there. I hope it's not run through it, if it's actually... Oh, it has, I think that's what it is. I think it's been it's been rubbing on here, on the back of the actual bumper, because it's behind the beam. Oh, yeah, I think it's got trapped. Let's have a look. Oh. 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 That looks, there it is. Oh, we've got it. Oh. Oh, I'm pleased, but I'm not pleased. Let me just show you that in close. You see, it was just trapped behind the beam here. And look, it's, um, it's damaged the wiring. If I turn it round, you can actually see there, look, it's rubbed through. It's rubbed through that wire. So let's uh, try and sort those out. Which makes sense when it said uh, PDC lines. Well, the lines are the wires, because it's translated in. We've lost a little bit in the translation, but yeah, PDC lines. That means the wires. Let me just try and get this off these clips on the bumper at the back there, and then I can probably give myself a bit more room to play with. Here we go. So I can drop this down. Now, oh, here we go, here we go. Now I can actually see it better. Yeah, look at that. Look at this, here we go, let's unravel it. And I'm gonna go with the original sensor as well now, so I'm gonna take this new one off. I'll have a way with that. Squeeze the tab and pull it, and hopefully get it off again. There we go. So we'll get rid of the new one and we'll put the original one back on again once we've fixed this wire. Okay, so yellow one looks intact. Brown one looks intact. Green one is completely broke through. So I can even pull that and snap it up. Let's have a new bit of wire. Well, well, we'll cut them. We can cut those back and re-solder them up with a bit of heat shrink. Right, let's just split these to start with. I'll get the uh, wire stripper on there. We can strip that back. I'm gonna have to go a long way, look at that. So at the minute we are lacking a piece. Now I could just go and join them, shorten it slightly. Or is that gonna make it really tight? I might have to put a piece in there. I think I'm gonna have to put a piece in there. So let's get some more wire. Strip the ends back on that. Got some heat shrink. Slide that over the whole lot. That looks like that one there. I'll we'll get that right up to there. Okay, let's just give this one a quick tidy up. And then we need another bit of heat shrink. So we've got a bit more now. We can slip the heat shrink over there. And tap. Just clean them up before we start. We can solder that.
make sure that one as well. Right, so that's all nicely there. We're all length. The length is good again. Let's heat, shrink these down. And we can tape all the wires back up again. Nice repair. We'll reconnect that. We'll feed it back over the top of the bumper beam. We don't want it going behind there, so we need to make sure that that's into all its little clamps at the top. Make sure it's all nicely out of the way. We can reconnect the sensor to it. Okay, sensor's reconnected, and then we'll have that back in its hole. Just rooted it slightly differently, so it's all tucked away. So just put the wires in a slightly different way. As you can see, just tucked it at the top there, so it's not gonna rub behind that bumper beam. We've got the OG sensor back in there as well, looking lovely. Right, and let's see what we can do. Let's uh, fire the old gel up. Okay, let's go back out of that one. We'll clear trouble codes. And now let's stick it in reverse and see what happens with the sensors. again look the car the car on the screen we've got his little car back oh it's working oh, how about that sensor's not flashing away we're looking good on there mint so that worked out really well in the end we didn't need to buy that sensor it was only 15 quid off of ebay so it ain't the end of the world but that wiring trapped behind that bumper beam you know a little bit of a repair on it happy days all good if this video has been a use if you enjoyed it if it's helped you out and you know and i probably saved you this 15 quid buying the sensor if yours says pdc lines if you've got that fault code coming up yeah we know what it is it's most probably going to be trapped behind the beam and it's worn through or the connection's got some corrosion in it because it is above the exhaust it does get really hot um if it's been a use drop me some thumbs up drop your comments always love your comments and i'll uh, see you in another video thanks for watching take care Be a good day, wake up, wake up. today's gonna be a good day, wake up, today's gonna be a good day.